It's amazing that the County Council have invested so much money into the new bills and Gables being one of them. It's a fantastic home, 60 beds, um, the residents have settled in really well and it's a lovely environment for them to live in. When we moved into the new home obviously we've had to recruit to some of the, the roles and the recruitment process has gone really well. We've got some really good candidates that's coming into the home. So it's such a lovely environment at the Gables. The outside garden space is amazing. We also have the luxury of having little quiet areas and lounges on all the units. So the larger rooms obviously benefit both the service users and the staff and having such an amazing entrance with the hub. We have families coming down and, and residents sitting chatting, having a cuppa. It's sort of a meeting area for lots of people. So with such committed staff and all the new facilities at the home, we will continue to provide quality care to our residents. It's incredibly important that the County Council continues to invest in uh, all of our care services, but particularly our residential care homes, because standards are changing, I think people's expectations are changing, and they demand the best for their, their loved ones and eventually for themselves. So that's why the County Council has embarked on this significant period of investment. This is the third of a programme that has been running for a number of years now. We opened a brand new 60 bedded care home in Barrow in Furness and just in the summer we opened uh, a similar one to this in Carlisle. We do have uh, more plans and we hope to be able to say more about those in the near future. We continue to invest in our domiciliary care and reablement uh, services because that's very important to enable people to stay at home and we're working very closely with our colleagues in the NHS to join our services up more than they have been in the past. So there's a lot going on, a lot of investment, it's really exciting times for health and social care in the county. I do think it's nice that homes are in the middle of a community because as well as being convenient for relatives and people who want to visit, I think it, it makes the residents feel as though they're still part of the place that many of them have lived in for their entire lives. The facilities are absolutely amazing. It can support people um, that may have dementia. It has ensuite facilities, it has all the gadgets you could have to help people to live independently within their own rooms and yet keep them safe. Downstairs it has doors onto the garden so that people can choose to go outside and be quite safe. And upstairs it has balconies with level access. It is truly amazing. The Gables isn't at full capacity at the moment and that's by design. Um, because as people moved in from other homes, it was really important to give them the opportunity to settle in, get to know each other, before the community grew a little bit further. But uh, new residents are moving in, and that's the intention for the next few weeks, as we um, get the right number of staff in order to be able to support them. We are working with health already, um, because there's plenty of stuff we can do together because we have different areas of expertise so yes that those discussions are well underway but we're part of a, a bigger project it's called um, one estate one public estate and um, that's a uk-wide project with the aim of um, all partners working together to try and um, capitalize on sharing buildings and uh, sharing facilities uh, in order to um, create much more sustainable services in the future. This is the future of elderly care. 
it's so important for, for mental health as you grow older that you're in an environment that is stimulating, that is nice to be in, uh, because your mental health can deteriorate, as I know from personal experience with my own mother, very quickly. It's been an excellent day. There's a huge energy at the Gables between staff and residents, and that is so excellent to, to be part of that. It's a fabulous place, and I'm sure the people that live here and who come to live here will enjoy it very much. Mm -hmm.